it is very useful for us to think about matrices as a combination of vectors. If you talk about matrix multiplication A times X, which is what you see uh, on the whiteboard on the left hand side, we're going to do this all the time. If you think about a matrix times a vector, so of course you can, like, according to our rules, calculate all the individual entries. So if you think about, let's say, the first element is going to be the first row multiplying the first column. So it's going to be A11, X1, A12, X2, and A13, X3. So you can do this for all the elements here. Now, what we usually do is to regard this computation as the following. So if you think about these matrices, it has three columns, right? And then think about each column as an individual, as, as a unit. Then it's like three elements here multiplying three elements here. So in other way, it is actually x1 multiplying the first column, x2 multiplying the second column, and then x3 multiplying the third column. So the result, if you have a matrix vector multiplication, then the result is a linear combination, right? It's either multiplication or addition. It's a linear combination of these column vectors in the matrix. That's a key concept. It's a different way to interpret the computation. But if you think about this, then it's very, very natural to understand the, let's say, we want to solve this equation, three variables, three equations. Then it is very natural to understand that for this one to make sense, to be able to find out some values x1, x2, x3, then it must be that this result on the right hand side, it is some kind of linear combination of the first three columns in the matrix. Otherwise, it wouldn't have a solution.